Uh, welcome in. We are going to be doing this on a regular basis and we're going to keep it smart, sharp, tight, 15 minutes. I got a fabulous guest today uh, known as Will Roberts. He also is the host of a show called Film Festival Live, which comes up even today at 1030. So we'll look forward to having Will here. Um, for you guys who don't know me, it's probably important that I, I, I clarify a couple of things with regards to uh, the DIY in me regarding the business of show business. Now, I purposely titled IG Live as The Actor Overcomes because that's the second half of the title of my book, Seven Deadly Sins, The Actor Overcomes. And it's mostly from the standpoint, you guys, of all the years I've been doing this, three decades, right? And the fact that we in general hate the business of show business, and I totally get it. I'm with you. It's kind of like doing taxes or going to the dentist. And funny enough, we actually have to start doing our taxes relatively soon. So I uh, had the network from 91 to 2013. Uh, I took some time away from what I had done with my community, which is a global community now, uh, without question, because we had members from all over all over the world. So hopefully there's some people in here uh, that are from other parts of the world. That's awesome because the business is simply something that is extremely similar now the world we live in today versus maybe what it was back in the analog years in the 90s. Uh, I have an awesome guest today, like I said, Will Roberts, but I want to mention this as we get into this and that I'm going to keep these really quick and I'm going to give you little short subjects uh, along the way. Uh, but the reason for doing that is because I know that whether you're a newbie or whether you're a veteran, what happens with the business, and this is one of my big things, is we all sort of understand the framework of the business. Even when you're five, six, seven months into it, it's not necessarily something that is difficult to eventually grasp. The challenge that I've always found, keeping in mind that 5,000 people came through the Actors Network from all over the globe, was because we dislike the business so much, y'all, I'm a Pisces, okay? I'd rather just play in the sandbox too and only focus on the show part of show business. But if you actually want to do this for money, uh, the reality is there's a great deal of specificity that comes along with the business. And my thing about that is, you know what it's like? It's just like life. There are all kind of things we don't want to have to do in life, but sometimes have to do them. All kind of things we don't want to need to do, but we need to do them. So the reality is, is that whether or not it's something we, we want to do, the reality is sometimes we have to and need to. And my thing about the business is, I want you to want to do it. Because we dislike it so much that we tend to either completely avoid it or we do something that's really dangerous. And I've seen it for decades, and you gotta trust me on that, all the years I've worked in television. You can go to my IMDB, you can go to subscribe at The Kevin e on YouTube, Check out the website, KevinyWest.com. You can do all that stuff, guys. But in the meantime, understand that one of the most fearful things that we do is not only avoid it, but we try to oversimplify something that shouldn't be oversimplified. And that's why I'm now going to start doing IG Lives on a three times a week basis because I want to start popping out some clarity for everybody. It's not that I think there's a ton of information out there that's necessarily wrong, but it is very thin to me in terms of what we really face about the business. Because once we understand headshots and demo reels and submissions and electronic portals and all that sort of stuff, we think or feel that we got it down. And that's why today's subject is setup versus pursuit. And with that said, I want to bring in my uh, I want to bring in my guest. Well, I'll bring him in just a second as soon as Will pops in. Uh, there we go. Uh, hang on a second, Where's everybody. It takes a second, I think, for him to pop in. Come on, come on. I'm accepting you, Will. Where you? There you are. Yeah. I, I decided that today What's was dressed. On, like man? Your, I decided that today was dressed like your favorite Kevin E. West. Yeah, but I mean, you, you're all green. It's it, it's lovely. It's the green screen. Did we call each other about the shirts? No, I told you I wanted to make sure I, I was very appropriately dressed like you. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, All right. yeah. Well, see, now everybody knows that Will knows me because if you had been a member of the Actors Network, uh, <laughs> one of the things that you would have always known is uh, I, I always have something in my hand. I, I have to talk about the business, as you know, Will, with something in my hand. And uh, you also know that I always thought, oh, my goodness. Yeah, guys, everybody, Will is a longtime working actor. 
he has more skills, I think, than any performer I freaking know. And black and dead. Right? You hold more records. Uh, gun twirling, magician. Where, where, do we, where do we stop with you? We don't stop. Uh, we just know that that's what I always tell actors, that if you're finding that you're not getting a lot of auditions, increase your skill levels. <laughs> So you, you chose guns and lasso, which is why I'm never in your presence in person, because you probably just wrap me up, tie me up, throw me in the corner. Uh, but that's actually what I did with accents and dialects, right? Like that was sort of one of the skills that I so brought along. But you are correct in that if, if it doesn't harm you, increase two or three things. Uh, thanks for coming in, because I know that you are a guy. I'm a guy. Who, who you are a guy who not only cares about the business, but you've actually spent a lot of time focusing on the business. Yeah. And we've had a ton of conversations. We have. And, and it's ironic because it is the Winter Olympics right now. And you know, I busted your chops before about it, about the setup versus the pursuit. And the irony is, of course, one of my favorite analogies and metaphors is snow skiing, because this is what we do with the business. Well, we don't like it, right? I know you don't love the business, but you got to do it. But I actually, you know what? I have to interject and say, I actually love the business because I'm a hustler. You know me. I know you. And you know what? I, I, some people, they go, oh, man, I'm so pissed off. I got to And I go, I love that. Because to me, it, although I'm not a real educated person or anything, I'm very analytical about the fact that I go, well, if there's a film out there or a TV show or a commercial and I want to get to it, I find it as a challenge to use our technology and my own skills to be able to see if I can just get in that door and not piss them off. Right. And the irony is, brother, is that that's the pursuit part going beyond what I call the setup part. Yeah. And that's why I use the snow skiing thing, because in, in our profession, everybody listening, this is this is a foundational thing for Kevin D. And I got the pencil in and we'll put glasses on is this and we got to define it. Guys, we all do maintenance in life and then yeah. we do extracurricular. It's an old phrase from college, right? So the setup will that people seem to usually coin as pursuing your career. is just the setup, man. It's like going snow skiing. You can yeah. rent or buy great <clears throat> skis, great boots, a great outfit and a helmet but it doesn't have anything to do with getting off the chairlift. And we no. tend to sit around and wait, just what you said about pursuing that film. We tend to sit around and just click and submit. We don't do what I call the extra pursuit part. So right. the setup is I got my pictures, right? I got my webinar. I got my website. I'm doing electronic submissions, et cetera. And I made a demo reel, but here's the pursuit part. How are you going to get somebody to watch that demo reel? You yeah. have to know people. You have to go beyond and actually pursue. And the right. truth is, we don't like that. And you do like that. You like trying to find the solution. Well, I do because I, I look, I've been doing this for 40 years. And wow. in 81 or 82, I started. And you know what? Back then, doing all these extra gigs in uh, San Francisco area and doing a lot of lighting stand-in for series like J uh, Jacqueline Smith and so on, I did it all. And people are like, man, why are you doing that? I go, this is not my hobby. This is my profession, my career, my love, my passion. But also, I realize in this industry, because I say this all the time, Kevin, you know this, is that most actors don't understand that the word show business has the word business in it. And so for me, it's constant that we're trying to figure out how we can become, you know, get into a, a film or a TV show or a commercial and then meet people because you get your last gig from your previous gig, whatever. But one little staggering fact I want to make clear is that all the things that I do and the love that I have for trying to do this business, and I'd love to be, uh, you know, just in front of the camera all the time. But when I did theater, I got to the point where I kind of love to rehearsal more because it was that really cool process. But right now, I'll tell you, the last four or five films I've done, which is Netflix, uh, Amazon, and, and several others, I got them myself. Exactly. I got one, I got three of them because I'm a gun coach. Do you think I did that because I want to be a gun coach? Because I come on, the, on their, uh, you know, their conversation and go, well, we want you to coach uh, Danny Trejo. We want you to coach this person. I went, as long as you book me. And they go, what? What? Is it, if you book me as what? an actor, yeah. Oh, well, God, that's ballsy. Yeah, because yeah. I know who I am, and I know you need me. 
So look at my demo reel to make sure that I'm not just some, you know, right. uh, shit up. Right. Yeah. And, and, and the ballsy it. part, Will, this is the thing. And it, it's not age. I know that both of us are not young. But I was well, doing this back in the 90s, awesome. in the analog yeah. era, when we had pagers. It was a different era then. And there is great things about technology in terms of pursuing your career. And there's also yeah. a massive danger in it. Horrible. Horrible danger in it. And I just want everyone to understand, guys, having headshots, having a demo reel, having a website, doing all the things that are set up, maintenance part of life and show business is not the pursuit. It's going after and creating associations. It's doing research. We hate that word. We hate it. So that you can find a way to get someone to pay attention to you. Because what is it, Will? YouTube uploads 500 hours of content every minute of every day or something really gross like that. And so my thing is always to folks, the pursuit lies in how are you going to get someone to watch you? Right. And let me let me interject and say that this is why I'm always excited to come on someone's program like yours, because here's the reality. The reality is, is that the more you know, the better you, it, you know, you are. And, the, and what I mean by that in the sense of acting is, is that the biggest common mistake most actors make, in my opinion, is they don't do their research. They don't understand that, look, uh, first of all, if I could sit and talk to Kevin E. West, which I have done, I just have to get to the, his I'll, house. I'll two hours. Times, yeah. yeah. But the point is, is that if you can sit with people or watch these things, this is what's great about technology is that you can hear this stuff. It's not costing you anything, but you can also get mentored by people like you. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, actors, you know, a, that book is an awesome book. And, and following you, because here's the thing. When you walk into your opportunity, and most actors go, like Dick Van Dyke and trip over the ottoman, it's because they don't know what the f they're doing. And they don't know that you can't go in like we normally do going, what do you, what do you need from me? What do you want? Where? You gotta go in knowing that you're the person, but you can only have that confidence if you know the seven deadly sins and you don't trip over your own Right, and that's why I'm gonna. That's why I'm titling the IG Live series as the actor overcomes. Because, again, I don't say that we hate the business in a bad way. Yeah, I, I say it in a no. very clarifying way of. It, that's why I say dentists and taxes. We don't like doing those things. And what's happened, Will, and you know this because we've been doing this a long time. The business gets very either oversimplified or extremely what I call uneducated. We are the most uneducated profession overall. For many professions in the world, it's not even close. All the arts universities, high schools, we don't discuss the business in a way other than, you know what, I think you need to get an agent or a manager. you got to have some pictures and probably a demo reel or something. Good luck. And, and stop stepping over the line and contacting people because they don't want you to right. market them. So the idea I, of going after projects in a different way, and that's my thing, the subtlety of how you do it. It's not what you say in life. It's how you say it. It's not what you do in life. It's how you do it. And I just want my community from this very word going. Anybody, we got people here from Ireland. Uh, Celia Ann Brown, I saw came in from, she's, she's a former member of the Actors Network. She's over in Paris. God bless you. Uh, I love that. Because now, Will, in, instead of me having to be just in the studio, I now get to talk to people globally. And the reality of what's happened in the last 11 years, as you well know, is this profession is global. And yet it's still really similar no matter what marketplace you're in. Yeah. And I got to tell you, you know, that's a great, I want to just take off on that comment of what you just said about it's globally is, is that when I talked about the last five or six films I've done, uh, Brazil, 46 days, China, um, uh, where was the last And you're one? not even at the Olympics. India, <laughs> India, huh? India. India. I mean, the point is, is that you have, people have to stop looking. I used to say this in the 90s with internet business. They'd go, well, why would we want you to do us something, you know, something for our company? I went, do you see your window right now outside? Take a look. That's your customers right now. Yeah. Now start looking here in the screen and realizing that you have a much larger window. And if actors are thinking to themselves that you just need to get actors access, they need to get this, they need to get that, and keep submitting, by the way, that's, that's, that's awesome. the setup. That's yeah. the setup, not Long the pursuit. Yeah, the, the bottom line is, you know, that's low hanging fruit. And we get to be one of 4,800 people submitting nowadays. That's the problem with our industry now is there's, there's not 15 people going after that same spot. Now there's 1,500, if not more. Right.
Absolutely. You got to find a way to get noticed. And, and the how of doing that is part of, as you know, the very specifics that I'm going to be covering. And I covered many of them in my book. But the bottom line is, brothers, there's 125 hours on the business in this goofy cabeza, really big yeah. out of mine, yeah. uh, and with pencil and ear. And so there's a lot to cover, and you cannot cover it all at once. And what I want to do, and people who know me know this, is I took a break after I closed the physical doors of the Actors Network, which is not long after we met. Uh, it, Will and I met in an alley on an early morning. It was very uncomfortable and weird, but that's okay. Uh, we call it a one-off. It was a one-off. Yeah, it was really good. But uh, I, I took a break from the nearly 24 years that I, I ran, built the organization. Uh, and I'm glad to be back now because I, I do believe what's happened with technology and what's happened with the business and what's happened with the pursuit of your career is I think we've even gotten to the place where we've shut down even more because of technology. Uh, and, and it makes me it makes me really concerned because we are emotional people trying to pursue something to actually get bought and sold as humans. And it gets really dicey psychologically, emotionally. And that's where I talk about the clarity and specificity because it, it's not just as simple as the 10 or 12 things that every book on show business it covers or every website out there that somebody talks about the business. I wish it were that simple. It just isn't. And you damn well know that. Yeah. You know, and, and and just so you know, I want to say a, a couple of things about you. But uh, the thing is, is that it is the I would say it's probably the business that bobs and weaves the most. And now with technology and me staring at my 13 Pro Max and five other cameras in my <laughs> But, but the, you know, we are now in charge of our own destiny in the sense that, look, I turn in awesome self tapes. And most actors say to me, go, well, you must, yeah, it's because you probably, no, I learned that shit myself. I didn't go, oh, I need to go to school. I actually dropped out of school. But the point, and don't do this. Don't See, do we this. had that in common. I didn't even know we had that in common. <laughs> yeah. And so here's the thing I want to say is, is that all this stuff that we do to try to get noticed and in an industry that really doesn't want us to raise our hands when we have a question. We don't get that opportunity a lot of times. But I will tell you this, and I want to make this very clear, and this is not a sales pitch for you, Kevin, but you, it, you boys and girls out there, you need to know and look at Kevin's stuff. And by the way, Te Kevin, if you t uh, put your URL in the comments right now and then pin it, I'll tell you how to do that. Let me do it for you. Where do you, you, you want people to go? I'm going to complete. I, I have See, again, this is the what, thing. What is I'm, I'm the pencil talking guy. I'm not the where IT guy. Get, where can we get? Oh, you want him to go? You want to go to YouTube to the, to the Kevin E. Because no, I want you to tell me the uh, the website for your book. Oh, KevinEWest.com. Hold on, Kevin. Real simple. Um, and while he's doing that, you guys just understand that if you go to YouTube and you go to the Kevin E. Like I said, I I took a break after I closed the network, but in February, March, and April, I'm going to be dropping hours and hours of free content oh, um, on, on. on my channel. Can you say that what I wrote, Kevin E. West? Put your finger on it and hold it and see if it says pin. Eh, it didn't, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, look, I, I, I just want to end this. Oh, on I Friday. found it. It, fine. it took a while. I got Good. it in. There it is. Okay. So, here, now look, I'm looking right now, Fright Night Festival. That's one of the film festivals. She's awesome. And I believe you're in Austria. But th this is what's so awesome about what we do. I'm sitting here with a ring light in a studio of my own <laughs> created that I do a lot of my own professional work and make a pretty good amount of money. But the point I'm trying to bring to you is, is that, you know what, 10 years ago, that would have, this would have never happened without about 10 grand. And no, and that's, one, that's why I took the break. I took the break because I wanted technology will to evolve enough so that this became simple for me to now actually talk to the global thespians, or as I call us, the good crazy. Uh, yeah. that's, that's what I call us. Because I, I have such a huge desire, and anybody who was a member of the Actors Network knows, all I want people to do is be healthy, positive, and successful. And yeah. this business has enough money in it, and enough roles in it, and enough jobs yeah. in it. But if Especially you don't how. get down, if you don't get down what you've already gotten down, Will, the difference between setup time and pursuit effort if you don't if you're not clear on those two things you're going to spend most of your time as an actor when you're not acting or in acting class doing the show part you're going to spend most of your time doing what is just basic life maintenance 
There's going to the grocery store and getting food, and then there's actually creating a meal. Right. There, there's there's shooting demo material or collecting demo material, and then there's the effort it takes, like you're talking about, to actually go find a producer, a showrunner, a casting person, and outside of just clicking on an online portal to actually watch your demo reel. And yeah. that's the pursuit, my bra, and I know you know it well. Yeah, and, and, and again, I'm sorry, I, wanna, I just want to say to people that uh, this is such a wonderful thing that we're doing, and, but it is, as you said, and I agree, a double-edged sword because, look, I'm going to give you my little uh, tips, free advice, best four-letter word in the English language, and that is don't pursue people in the industry. I get so many direct messages saying, hey, Will, can you get me in a film? Can you do this? Can you do that? That is not the way to do it. That is no. the way for you to That's get That's not the right how. It's also, yeah, it's also, just so we're clear, <clears throat> that's the beggar, desperate actor thing. And people don't dig that. When you don't have that in front of you, you look so much more professional. But you can't get there until you learn the seven deadly sins. And all I'm saying is go check out your website and the book because, you know, it's dope. It's awesome. It's a book that you can look at and take apart and do step yeah, by step. It is, it is the sum of its parts, and I wrote it that way. Not a novel. I know that you have to go in just a second. I'm going to stay on. Are you okay? Yeah. Because I, I you told know, you it wasn't going to be 15 minutes, though, bro. No, dude. There's, I mean, 15 minutes with you is virtually impossible. 15 minutes with me is impossible. I, I, I've, I've, go, I've done an event where I talked for six straight hours without a bathroom break. So I clearly, I, always with pencil oh, and ear, oh, though. Oh, I know that person. I did oh. the <laughs> Ab Absolutely. So uh, with regards to the setup and pursue, this is, this is the area where you get into that you've got to understand you, you want to find a way to work the setup part into your life where it's necessary. That's just the yeah. maintenance. Yeah. And, and view that as just a life task, yeah. right? There's the task of going to Home Depot and picking up the lumber and the stuff and the thing and the blah. And then there's the task and the pursuit of creating the blueprint to do the remodel. And if but I, I can just get everybody to think about the pursuit as a blueprint and the setup as just the grocery purchase or the hardware sure. purchase, you'll start splitting them. And that's my thing. It's just what you said about pursuing somebody in the industry. You can't just say, hey, give me something. I'm right. here, give me something. You just can't do that. No, and, and you know, the thing is, is that, um, uh, I don't think actors realize that we are actually the the definition of entrepreneur. And before entrepreneurs were, you know, a thing in the 90s or late 80s, we actually have always been entrepreneurs because the fact of the matter is, is that when you wake up, if you're an actor, if you are calling up your agent all the time going, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? And you don't understand that, guess what? end of the day, you got to go get your headshot. You got to go get this. You got to make your shits in line. You got to make sure you're networking. You got to go to acting class. You got to, you got to, you got to, the, you get, I mean, that was a street fighter thing. The point <laughs> is, I'm just saying, the point is, is that if you don't realize that every step of the way, that's important that you have to do. And at the end of the day, you might end up in the corner sobbing because you didn't get what you wanted and you can't pull up your boots and move on the next day you probably should get a job as a barista. I'm just saying. And, and I did, that's the thing is that I, I, I know that sobbing is a part of our profession. I've done it, but I want to try to minimize it. And you just brought up one of the things that's one of my favorite crossover things, Will, about setup versus pursuit. Okay, so one of the pursuits that we want to do, Will, is we want to get a representative. But what happens because of our lack of education and our, the fact that we hate the business, and I get it, is once we get one, no matter who they are, we believe that was our the nth degree of pursuing because now what I call the process, your representative who's now supposed to do their job and get you out, which is not submitting you, but actually creating a job interview known as an audition. We feel like that once we have a representative of any kind in any city, in any marketplace, anywhere in the world, we think at that point, OK, I'm good. I'm done. That's where that pursuit part for a lot of actors, because we weren't told any different and weren't explained and educated any differently, that's where we end. And we got to be clear, we joke about this now. I've been in this business a long time, but I've had 46 representatives. And it's not because I didn't like some of them, and it's not because they didn't like me. Some of them let, it doesn't matter. 
The no. bottom line is that's why I talk about dating. Sometimes you have somebody you're with and then they're not with them anymore. And, and the other thing is even if you have someone, as they say in relationships all the time, you still have to be a healthy, independent person. Well, as an actor, even though you may have a representative, there's still a whole litany of things you can do a to pursue your litany. career to supplement and add to. And we don't like that part. We just keep doing the website and, and redo the demo reel and redo the resume and read it. It's all made. That's all set up. And look, I, I just have to urge actors, in my own opinion, to stop looking at what the norm is, like going to backstage or whatever and reading this shit all the time. It's like, that's... <laughs> no, but I mean that in the sense that, you know, again, if you look at what people have done over the last 50 years in the acting industry, honestly, can you give me anybody that's done all these things that they read on all these places and you can go, oh, that person uh, succeeded and they're now an A-lister. I'm not saying that that's not part of it. But what I am saying is, is that as an entrepreneur, the thing that you have to realize is, is that what you may do today may not work tomorrow. It may go against you. And there is no one else responsible for it. When the end of the day comes, if this shit doesn't work, it's not bad. I call it seeding. You constantly have to be, if you put seeds in, the, uh, in a planter today and you walk outside tomorrow and expect to see flowers, there's something wrong with you. Right. But that's, again, this comes, I mean, you know that I have a whole entire Johnny Appleseed reference in my book, but that, I'm not a patient guy. I played third base, right? I'm, but that requires patience. And I know you're not patient either, but to actually build associations, to actually build people who, people always say in Hollywood, it's who you know. And I've been saying for three decades, it's who knows you. Uh, That's right. And it, yeah, I mean, I've been saying that for a long time, right. along with the fact that I know you know what a target list is today, but when I started the Actors Network, no one discussed creating a target list. No one no. used the idea. Business had done it, but no. this community hasn't done it. So you got to bear in mind that since 91, I've been discussing and building on all of these things. I just took a break for a while once I, I closed the network, but I'm back. I'm back for good. Uh, we're already at 28 minutes. Well, that's staggering. And I was thinking maybe we would just go 15, but I'm going to, I'm going to call the ball at 30 just to let people get on with their day. But I'm going to be, there he is again. See, by the way, you guys know Will is done when he starts playing with the cards that, or he starts pulling a gun out or lassoing somebody. Um, but uh, yes, I, I do want to thank you, and I'm going to have you on uh, on a regular basis with me. And I do want to make sure that people do uh, take a look at uh, willroberts.com and also uh, Film Festival please Live because you're please do not go to willroberts.com. Go, oh, okay. go, right, well, go to go to go to filmfestivallive.com and watch your show because you have really good panels and you have really good conversations. You had a great panel on the tragedy that happened with yeah. Helena Hutchins uh, in the shooting. And on rust so um brother thank you for being here as always um, yes. i will have you back again you sure and i do want to share with everyone that's here uh definitely go to the kevin e on youtube and subscribe because the channel is going to as you know will is going to make a complete metamorphosis in the next 90 days and there's going to be dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of free content because the what i don't want people to do is i don't want you to struggle with the idea of just doing the setup versus the pursuit. And, yeah. and you have become, what we've known each other for what, seven years? You're, yeah. really, you're really proficient now at the pursuit. And I know you did a lot, you, you always were a hustler. Always. But, the, but the hyper focus and specificity you now have today at the pursuit is night and day from what it used to be. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll just uh, end by saying thank you very much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. And, you know, again, I can't say this more dearly and more sincerely, but uh, look, if you have a chance to hang out with people like Kevin and watch this, the only thing you're missing, and this is serious too, because you got to think about yourself and the way you're approaching your acting career. But if you don't ask questions, what the fuck are you doing in the audience? Uh, the question is, is that you just need to be thinking about if you have things that are burning in your mind. I will tell you this about Kevin. What I love about you, Kevin, is that you're and I hate to mention other people, but you're the um, you know, you're the Gary V or whatever his name is. You're the uh, you're the Anthony Robbins. You're the what's that dude now? The uh, the African-American guy. He makes a lot of freaking money. And he's like, yeah, you just need to shut up. And point is, is that if you're looking for someone to baby you. You know, come to the wrong place. Yes, it, it is accurate and fair to say I'm, I'm not necessarily for everybody, 
but all you have to know is that I'm on your side. I've always wanted my community to succeed. I don't like to see people struggle more than they have to. And I think in some way, going back three decades ago, when I had the first meeting on May 1st, 91, in my apartment, I think that's the reason this became a thing of mine. Because for as tough as my exterior is and how I grew up, I'm actually really sensitive about the struggle. And I just will always want to minimize the struggle as much as possible, despite the fact it's always going to be a tough business. There's always going to be a roller coaster. It's always going to be up and down. But man, I'm all about specificity, intelligence, and clarity because it gives you confidence. And a confident actor on the show, we know what that renders. We do. Uh, and the confidence of somebody who actually really knows how to pursue the business makes a whole different thing in your career. It does. I got to go. Yeah, I know you got to go. You got to do a show. Thank you, brother. I'll see you soon. I'll wrap you it up. Will. Thank you, brother. I'll talk to much, you soon. Much uh, love for you. Peace, man. So as he goes away, guys, all right, uh, we actually went over it. So I'm actually at 31 minutes. This is not uncommon for me because I talk a lot. Uh, but uh, Will is energetic. It's great. I thank you guys for being here. Uh, I, I want to keep these fairly short because um, it's hard for people's schedules globally. Uh, and it's also it's hard to take in a lot of information at once. And I'm an information freak. So do yourself a favor if and again, when I say this, guys, it's nothing against anybody else. I have friends who do stuff about the business, but I started the network back in 91. I've been doing this for a minute or two along with working along the way. And I do legitimately have 125 hours in my mental case brain about this profession because a lot of it has to do with being pragmatic and practical. A lot of it is also psychological and philosophical because of how we look at this business. And the way you view anything, people always say, if you want to change everything, change your attitude. People also talk about your perspective and the way you view something. So I'm not trying to get you to be like me. I'm trying to get everybody to a place where they have a better understanding of what piece of this profession you might want to pursue more and pursue slightly differently instead of just doing setup time and maintenance all the time that you actually start pursuing just a couple of things in a really different way with skills and technique and principles that 99.99% of people I've ever known in the last three decades just don't discuss. Uh, that's it. We're done. And I'm going to see you probably again in a couple of days. Just look out for the notification. And here we go. Thanks for being here, guys. Peace and chicken grease. I'll see you all soon. Okay.